Artists use lies to tell the truth while politicians use them to cover the truth up. My absolute favorite quote from this movie, that could not be any truer. And if you've never seen this movie, V for Vendetta came out in 2005, follows a girl by the name of Evie living in London, where the government is in complete control of everybody's life from controlling the news outlets to listening to our conversations, watching us at every move. It's, it's hell on earth. It is hell. Nobody would want to live in a world like this until one man comes along by the name of V and starts a revolution. If you needed a leader for your revolution, the V is your guy. V is your guy. And if you've ever called yourself the man, you're not even close to half the man that V is here. V is the man. He's the man of men. He gets the people to fight back. The rest is history. I love this movie. I thought it was great from the start. Evie, who is played by Natalie Portman, she played her role well. Absolutely beautiful. Some of the things that I loved about this movie was, for one, how relatable it is to our world. We can all agree here and say that we've heard theories of the government listening to our conversations, watching us through our phones. They are controlling what news... It's very similar to what this movie was showing us, show, showed me, which I absolutely loved because throughout the whole entire movie, I'm sitting there saying to myself, damn, I hope our world never gets to this because it would be hell on earth. It would be terrible. I'm pinpointing, uh, I'm looking at how the government in the movies listening to the conversation. This could possibly be happening in our world. And it's, it's scary. It's actually scary. And I hope it doesn't get to the point where we need a guy like V to come along because <laughs> some of the stuff he does is just crazy. I mean, if, if that happened in our world, oh my God. That'd be one hell of a show. That'd be one hell of a Thursday night, to be honest with you. Another thing that I loved about this movie was how you never really know who V is. You never really see his face. You never really get much of his life story, which I think adds on to the love that I had for the character because he's, he's essentially an unsung hero. He doesn't get all the glory and the fame. All he gets was what he wanted. And at the same time, the people of London benefit greatly from his sacrifices, which brought a tear to my eye. I mean, by the end of the movie, I had tears forming in my eyes. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was gonna cry. I almost cried at the end. It's just a beautiful movie. And one thing, if I had to take away one thing from the movie, it would be that if you know you are in the right and you are doing the right thing, not even death should scare you from doing the right thing it was an absolutely beautiful movie i it doesn't doesn't cost anything to be a good person it doesn't cost anything to be kind if i had to rate this movie on a scale of one to ten one being shit ten being great i'd probably give it a an 8.6 i would give it an 8.6 absolutely beautiful movie i definitely recommend it if you've never seen it it's a great movie. It's a great story. It's an absolutely beautiful story. A little love thrown in there. A little bit of action. It's got a little bit of everything, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Let's see if we can go find some autograph cards to, to match this movie. Because I'm definitely going to be buying some. So, I actually ended up finding quite a few people in this movie that have autographs and other card sets. So, this is amazing. Starting off, we have Hugo Weaving who played V, and he is an autograph in a Lord of the Rings set, more specifically the Fellowship of the Ring, which was released in 2001 by Topps. And when I looked on eBay, this is a multi-hundred dollar card, so I'm not sure what character he played in Lord of the Rings, but definitely a popular one for sure. Next, we have arguably, yeah, I mean, not even arguably, the best signer on this list. We have Natalie Portman, who played Evie, and this specific card is from Star Wars 2021 Tops, multi-thousand dollar card. I mean, it's absolutely disgusting how expensive her cards are. Even if you look at her autographs from Thor Love and Thunder, I mean, probably pushing a thousand dollars for one autograph, absolutely insane. Next, we have Stephen Fry, who played Dietrich. He has an autograph in a Hobbit set, which was released by Cryptozoic. Not sure on what year it is, but... It is a Hobbit set, so if you're, you're a movie movie fan of, of The Hobbit, there you go. Next, we have John Hurt, who played Adam Sutler. Here, he has an autograph in a Doctor Who set 
from Tops, which was released in 2018. Probably one of the only Tops Doctor Who sets, considering Rittenhouse produces a shit ton of Doctor Who cards. So, yeah, that's cool. Next, we have Roger Allum, who played Louis Prothero. And he actually has an autograph in Game of Thrones. And surprisingly enough, I picked this up recently, so I'll probably throw it on the screen of me holding it. Uh, I guess it was meant to be, to be honest with you. It, it came came in the mail a couple days after I watched this movie, so <laughs> yeah, that's sick. And then next, we have Tim Piggott Smith, who played Peter Creedy, probably the most disgusting character in this movie. He has an autograph in a James Bond set, which was released by Rittenhouse in 2010, so probably not too many of those out there considering Rittenhouse numbers their boxes. So next we have Guy Henry who played Conrad Hare. He has an autograph in 2024 Tops Star Wars Chrome or I guess Star Wars Tops Chrome, however you want to say it. He also has other autographs from Star Wars, but this one is from 2024 Chrome. And last but not least, we have Malcolm Sinclair who played Major Wilson. And he was actually in a, another James Bond set from Rittenhouse, but a 2008 set, not 2010. So, yeah, those are all the autograph signers I could find from this movie. And I'm definitely going to pick some of these up. I mean, I already picked up one of those, so <laughs> that is sick. Uh, yeah, that's the list. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any of these autographs or are going to pick some up now. So, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned till next video. Bye.